Welcome back to Alden Vaults. Today you join us on a very sunny day looking at the history of what was the Hollingwood Primitive Methodist Church just behind me here. We are on Clock Street and the street just over there is Clarice and the street just here behind that way is Bourne Street. We're going to have a look at who's behind these two streets here, Bourne and Clarice, and we're also going to tell you a bit about the history of the Hollywood Primitive Methodist Chapel, which is on that site just opposite. Um, I'm going to try and find somewhere a bit more or less sunnier. Yeah, so we are looking at the Hollywood Primitive Methodist Chapel just here on the corner of Born Street just over no Born Street that way there you can just see it. We'll talk more about that street in a bit. But yeah, the Hollywood Primitive Methodist Chapel uh, in the Oldham circuit was opened on August the 14th and 15th of 1831. Um, some were called Mr. Tillerotson. I'll put that up on the screen for clarification after. Um, and Mr. J. Britton was the first preachers at this chapel. The new chapel measured 24 inches wide, I think it is, and 30 inches long. Um, and the reason why it was built in 1831 is on this area, I'll put up a map now so you can see, was a mix of industries you had. Iron foundries just over where the uh, bowling green is. You had some timber yards, you had the Hollingwood Goods Yard a bit further in the back corner. You had two mills, the Gravel Gate and the Oldham Albion. Um, and all these streets, like you can just see here, and that's the Terry Street there. This was full of Terry Streets. And behind the camera where we are standing now, in this grass area it was the original alignment of Manchester Road before the road ridings and the construction of the M60 motorway. But back to the chapel. A Sunday school building opened by John Britton on the 11th of September 1836, measuring 24 inches wide and 36 inches long. It's joined up with the chapel and opened into the chapel by sliding doors. So you used to go into the Sunday school or you could go in the Sunday school and do whatever Sunday school business you could do and then walk into the chapel for the services. Um, so the chapel and the area we're in now was called Tinker's Lane and the story behind not Tinker's Lane that was the old name for Manchester Road but this was Tinker's Meadow and apparently what happened was there was the story goes that there was a guy um, who used to carry iron pants on the back of his back and he took a rest on one of the fences and forgot to take his backpack off with all these heavy iron pounds on him so he was strangulated by the fence with his backpack on one of the fence lines as he took a rest without realising he had heavy backpacks on him and over in the corner over off Clarice Street, you had Acres Street after the Acres area around here, and then you had Meadow Street, possibly 
named after the Tinker's Meadows. So back to the Sunday School. The Sunday School had 202 scholars and 17 teachers. A new, a new chapel was constructed in 1861, replacing the original church, but on a new site close by. And that was measured 13 times 13 yards, and built up of brick with stone facings and a side gallery. So the church closed in 1922, but was left standing until 1970s when the famous Oldham Council got a loving for the demolitions and the bulldozer machines and went all up Manchester Ward and all through them, St Mary's everywhere with this machine and going, oh we like that, bang, wallet done, oh we like that, bang, wallet done, oh it's gone, oh let's, let's redevelop it into industry. Um, and yes, yeah, this area was full of housing until Olden Cat, like I said, Olden Cat's come through with a demolition machine and demolition machine and gone, oh, I know, whack, knock that out, we don't need it, don't like heritage. And that's when it all started around the 1970s, and that's pretty much it's stretched from Hollywood here all the way up to town because there was housing, Terry Street, all up this world. Um, so I'm digressing there. So, yeah. So I'll join you a bit more closer to Fawn Street up here and we'll have a look at that a bit more in close. Yeah, so Bond Street named after you Bond. Um, who were born in 1772 and died in 1852. He was one of the co-founders of the Primitive Methodist, which is the largest offshot of the Wesleyan Methodist churches. And primitive means simple, simple Methodist. So, if you want more detail, more history of the church, chapel, Sunday school, Warren Street and Clary Street, check out our Facebook well we will be posting a detailed album of all pictures preservation pictures and more in-depth detail of these people behind these streets of the church and our handle is Alden Volts so yeah you can just see behind me I've been mentioning this this is the last remaining um, Terry Street in this area and show you in a bit further up I don't think you can tell no you can't tell on the camera but it still remains its cobbles and we would like to have a look up there as you can probably see it's still got its original door frames and windows when it was all housing and it's been converted into manufacturing offices and different things over the time but yeah you can see where all the doors have been bricked in we'll have a pop a look down there in a second Prescott's garage there and that building there we're on rather on the other side where Clowry Street used to be or Clowry Street he still is um, and that Clowry Street 
is named after the other coal founder, William Clowis, who was born in Bruslan, Staffordshire, where, where all the pottery used to make and Wedgwood and all that sort of stuff. He was a dancer before converting on the 20th of January 1805 and he soon established prayer meetings in his own house and led a Wesleyan Methodist class. So yeah, so that's the brief history behind Clary Street. And both these streets here used to both join on to Manchester Road. We'll tell you why in a minute. This grass perch is here now with all this own grown grass. This was the original course of Manchester Road where it would come off and come along this grass perch and then there's a lung dentist surgery down there. Apparently but when it was when they were clearing this house, the owner of that house, which is the dentist, didn't want the house to be knocked down. So it remained. But that is Outside that dentist is the original alignment of the road before the construction of the 160 motorway. So I put off the map now and the side to side map so you can actually actually see the alignment. And that's why Clary Street would have come out and Clock Street didn't exist. Clock Street came after. Yes, yeah, so Clock Street didn't exist because there were a road in between Bob and Clary Street. Clock Street was created when Manchester Road was diverted to keep access to Bourne Street. Thank, uh, thank you for watching this video today. I hope you learned something about Hollywood Primitive Methodist Church um, and their history and the name origins of um, Bourne and Clarice. Thank you.